Penn Station just got an upgrade. It looks amazing. Gotta check it out. So is it called Penn Station or is it called Moynihan Train Hall? I'm confused. This is the Empire State Building. New York is a pretty cool place, I must say. Oh, look at the new Penn Station. It looks like Epcot almost from Walt Disney. Now we are about to head to my office. Okay, this is where my office is, and so I just wanted to show you my office where I do my creations and all this other stuff, so, um, yeah. But um, I wanted to talk about uh, the project that I'm working on, it's called Sketchy. Before I can talk about Sketchy, I want to talk about this on the subject of serial killers. So. Um, I found serial killers uh, fascinating in their mindsets and, and how do they think and how do they, uh, what is their motivations and things like that. So um, being with that, I saw a film and documentary about Ted Bundy and he's a crazy maniac of a dude, just insane, but he seemed like a normal dude. Um, but I was thinking as I was watching the film, I was thinking I had never heard of a black male being a serial killer uh, as that being as that methodical and that prolific. And so I was just like, well, just let me just Google it and see if there were any black serial killers um, in that uh, level, on that level. So um, I did, and. One serial killer came up that totally blew, blew me away. This serial killer was called the Black Doodler. I mean, kind of a iffy name, <laughs> uh, just to give you a heads up that he was African American, so that's why they called him the Black Doodler. Kind of racist, I think, but whatever. Uh, it was like saying a white Ted Bundy or something like that, but anyhow. And so I dwelled into this, uh, the story and did more research on him and of the story and it was pretty fascinating and um, talk about looking into the psyche of a person this uh, it's, it's kind of all over the place with this dude um, what uh, the black doodler um, this happened in the early to mid 70s and he was a prolific killer is that about 19 victims and his victims were all basically white gay males you know of the LGBT community and he was African American he was the serial killer was African American and how he lured his victims uh, and how he entrapped his victims was pretty interesting and pretty methodical if say so myself and, um, especially for a young guy I think he was in his early 20s during this time um, he would use his artistic talent to lure his victims and so he had the ability to, to illustrate he was a pretty good illustrator and he was very smart very well educated uh, from my from what my research says and um, he would lure his victims in with illustrations and so what he would do is go into San Francisco Bay areas and also in Castro and California and that's where a lot of prolific serial killers come from or that, ha that were happening during that time and he would go into bars and clubs and restaurants and he would just sit down and start drawing the person he targeted as his victims and the person would notice and they would start up a conversation and it would go from there and so I 
found this fascinating. And the, uh, the more I looked into the Black Doodler, the more twisted it became uh, of who this dude was. Because this dude was definitely well-educated, well-spoken, uh, very intelligent. Um, but uh, his he definitely had a trigger uh, of white gay males. So it inspired me to write a story about it because I thought I'd never heard of this this serial killer before. And he was pretty prolific to kill like 19 people in one year. And plus this uh, serial killer was never brought to justice. And uh, things surrounding this story involves a lot of racism. I feel it, uh, definitely homophobic uh, issues during that time, the, ju the, the justice system during that time. Um, and how society sees certain people who they find important and who they don't during that time. So I definitely wanted to uh, do a film. I was very inspired to write the screenplay of it. I had directed it, I wrote the screenplay, I produced it. Um, of course, I, I, I'm an actor, so I acted in it. Uh, it just inspired me to write this film called Sketchy. Um, I will dwell more into it in future videos, it will expose of how society thought during the 70s. Yes, we had that free love and happiness and peace and during that time, but the political system was totally the opposite as this film exposes. Uh, yes, we had racism during that time. We had uh, gender issues during that time. We had uh, homophobic issues during that time. And so it, it kind of parallels to what is happening today. Now we're focusing more details on those isms that happened back then. And it's sort of apropos to what the climate is today and, and what the issues are about today. And I will explore in future videos um, about this case and about how I came to create this films in more detail. Hopefully you come with me on the journey. I hope you enjoy my journey. I hope you enjoy my film when it's uh, ready to be announced. You know, right now I have to finalize all of the soundtracks of the film, which uh, I'm working on right now. And it's almost cutting close to finishing that. And, um, you know, I will give you a heads up of where my film is gonna be shown and how I'm gonna present it to the world. So anyhow, well, let me get to work. Peace. I get suspicious, just keep on bringing